Hello, I'm Kimoon Francis. Opposition spokesperson on transport Mikhail Phillips is calling for an urgent investigation by the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority into the operations of both international airports. This follows today's temporary closure of the runway at Montego Bay's Sangster International Airport, which forced cancellation of 12 flights and delayed many others. Meanwhile, members of the Reggae Girls team were among passengers who were left stranded because of the temporary closure of the runway at the Sangster International Airport. Members of the delegation returning from the FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia are now set to arrive in Jamaica on Friday morning. Police investigators in Old Harbour St. Catherine today laid criminal charges against a man held in connection with the recent seizure of 11 stolen motor vehicles. 28-year-old auto mechanic Cleon Mills, otherwise called a tall man of Gordonwood District, St. Catherine, is alleged to be part of a car stealing ring. Despite a massive recruitment drive in recent years, the Jamaica Constabulary Force continues to endure a shortage of members. The 2022 Economic and Social Survey of Jamaica says as of December 31, the force had increased by 4% to 12,498, still 11.3% below the establishment size. In sports, Jamaica's under-15 national boys football team scored a 4-1 win over Honduras in the quarterfinal of the CONCACAF Youth Championships in the Dominican Republic this afternoon. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.37, the British pound is sterling for $200.07, and the Canadian dollar for $115.90. In your weather forecast on Friday morning, expect thunderstorms with windy conditions as the day progresses. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on X, formerly Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Kimon Francis.